evening has since gone into hiding, but police officers have launched a manhunt to arrest him. <laughs> On Friday, Sud held a public meeting in Elray Town, and while addressing the residents, he attacked the government, accusing it of diverting corruption cases involving senior government officials by concentrating on what he refers to as sideshows. <laughs> The police officers in their hundreds raided Sudi's home in Kapseret, but the legislator escaped after an intervention by angry neighbors who protested in the night, blocking the roads and chanting songs in support of Sudi. <laughs> A section of leaders led by Wasingishu women rep Gladys Boz Sholei and residents wondered why the police had come at night wanting to arrest Sudi, yet he had been to a public event in Elre town during the day. Oscar Sudi is a state officer and uh, if the police are serious, they need him, they should have even informed him today that you just to walk into the police station. Oscar Sudi is not a coward man. He is a man who obeys the laws. Culturally, what they have done is, is unnecessary. It has made people very suspicious. People are saying he has been around. Why haven't they arrested him? Elsewhere, politicians have continued to react to yesterday night's incident at the MP's home, accusing police of excessive use of force. Speaking in Transoya County, Soy MP Caleb Kositanyi and his Kimilili counterpart Didmas Baraza said police can arrest Sudi without too much drama that will cause tension. Jana usiku police wameenda kuoska Sudi. Police zaidi ya 300. Kwende kukamata mtu ambaye yako na mwili. Mimi ni mwili yangu hii na ya Oscar ni mwili ya mtu kukamata na askari ya chief. Si kutuma polisi wote, sijui polisi miatatu. Sasa mwishmua naibu wa rais amejitolea. Sijui upande gani memguza Raila Odinga akasikia uchungu wananchi wa kawaida wakisaidiwa. Sudi and his Emurwa Dikir counterpart Johanna Ngeno have continued to utter statements that police say amount to incitement. <laughs> Calvin Chitwa, TV47.